In each episode, we'll try to answer seven common kid questions in seven minutes. We'll tackle the common and uncommon questions kids often ask. No question is too weird. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you for joining us on our second episode of 7 in 7. I'm Christopher, and in today's episode, I'm joined by my co-host and son, Nathaniel. Uh, So Nathaniel, I was thinking for today's episode, I would ask you the question and see if you can answer it. Mm -hmm. Uh, You can always say pass, and then I'll give everyone the answer. Sound good? Mm -hmm. All right, then let's start today's episode, which we are calling the Space Episode! episode. (laughs) I have seven space-related questions. Nathaniel, are you ready? Yes. Remember, we have to try to answer the question in one minute or less. Okay. Let's go. Question one, how many planets are in the solar system? Let me think. I'm not sure. There are eight planets in our solar system. Four are terrestrial planets, which include Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. The other four are giant planets. Sun? Nope, planets, not the Hmm. sun, which include Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. I know why not the sun. The sun's a star. Correct. The sun is a star. That huge star in the universe. Which I just... No. (laughs) Something. (laughs) Jupiter and Saturn are gas giant planets. Uranus and Neptune are ice giant planets. And some scientists think there's a ninth planet. Because there is. I believe, I think it's called Planet X. Well, some scientists think so, but Mm -hmm. they haven't confirmed it yet. Mm -hmm. Planet X is looking for a name, looking for someone to find it, and I don't know anything more about that. Question number two. What is the largest planet in our solar system? Largest planet, not the sun. Nope, that's the star. Um... Um, I'm not sure. Jupiter is the largest... What? Yeah. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system in terms of mass, volume, and surface. So if you put 11 Earths side by side, it would roughly be equal to Jupiter's diameter. If you took all the planets in our solar system and combined them, Jupiter's mass would still be greater. It is 2.5 times the mass of all the planets in our solar system combined. Jupiter also has the largest moon in our solar system called Ganymede. And our moon is called the moon. You can't say moon, that would be wrong. It's called the moon. I think you might be right. I think I remember reading that. Yep, we did read it. Me, my daddy, my mommy, my brother. Yeah. Question three. How many moons does Jupiter have? Do you want to hit? Yeah. Okay, it's more than 50, but less than 100. Um, 90? No, that was a great 80. guess. 80? No. <laughs> 88? I, I don't think you're going to get it. What? Can, can I tell you? Well, what? it's more than 50. Oh, um, uh. No, how about I tell 60. you? 60. Woo, close. Very close. 70? No. 80? How 90? About, how about I tell you? Yeah. It's 67. Oh. Jupiter has more moons than any other planet in our solar system. Saturn comes in second with 62 moons. Mercury and Venus have no moons. What the heck? Okay. Mars has two. Uranus has 27, possibly 29. Some scientists think they they might have two more moons. Um, So that might be planet X and planet Z or planet Y. No, no, Uranus... We were just talking about moons. Um, and Neptune has 14. Wow. And Earth has one. Correct. Earth has one. Question four. What is the smallest planet in our solar system? I know. What Pluto. No. no. Let me guess. They don't think Pluto's a planet anymore. Pluto, Pluto's not counted as a planet. Why? It's a star? What? No. Wait, I remember yet. That's, it's not... It's too small that doesn't count as a yes, planet. Yes, you're right. Exactly. So what is the smallest planet in our solar system? What's it called? Pluto! It is Pluto! No, okay, I'll, I'll, don't count anymore because it's too small! 
too small, Dad. No, no. I'll give you a clue. It's the one that's closest. It's the closest planet to the sun. The moon? No. Let me guess again. No. Mm. Okay. I'm not sure, actually. You tell me. It's Mercury. Mercury mm. is actually smaller than Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede. Mercury is also the closest planet to the sun. And even though Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, its surface can still be extremely cold. The temperature during the day can reach 840 degrees Fahrenheit. But at night, temperatures can get as low as minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Question five. How many moons are in our solar system? Uh, in our solar system? Um, I don't know. I don't. Yeah. All right. Don't, I, I didn't I know either. I don't have one answer. It's okay. It's 181 moons. Uh, wait, wait, what in the world? <gasps> what in the world? What in the world? The largest moon is is Jupiter's Ganymede, and the smallest is Mars, Deimos. Ganymede has a diameter of 3,273 miles, and Deimos has a diameter of seven miles. That's a pretty big difference, huh? I don't know my miles. You don't know your miles? Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know how to explain it, but it's a big difference. Okay. Question six. What is the largest type of star in the universe? Do you know what the largest type of stars are Yep, called? the sun. I spoiled it earlier. <laughs> well, what type of star is the sun? Um, Let's see, there's uh, dwarf stars. Uh, huh? Dwarf stars, do you remember that? Dwarf, mongoose, dwarf stars are super small stars. Okay. Um, what are the biggest ones called? Planet? No. Uh, Mercury's? <laughs> no. Why did I okay. say Mercury's? They're called red super giant stars. They have the largest volume of all stars in the known universe. Red super giant stars are several hundred to over a thousand times the radius of our sun. So imagine our sun if it was a hundred times bigger. That'd be pretty big, right? So what kind of star is our sun? That's a great question. I'm gonna have to look it up. Many scientists believe that the star UY Scuddy is the largest red supergiant star in the universe and it has a volume five billion times that of our sun. Uh, can you imagine something five billion times as big? I can imagine something five trillion times as big. That's pretty big. Wow. Question seven. What is the longest time a human has spent in space without coming back to Earth? Just a, just a rough guess. You don't have to give me the exact number. Do you think it's been... Graham's number! No, 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 no. They wouldn't be alive. Would it be... Do you think it's more than one year? Yeah. Yep, you're right. Is it less than two years? Yeah. Yep, you're right. <laughs> and so it's one and a half years. No, I'll tell you the answer. It's 437 days. This is roughly 14 months in space, so over a year. The record belongs to Valery Polokov, a Russian astronaut who stayed aboard the MER space station from 1994 to 1995. What do you think he did while he was in space? Played um, space volleyball, played Video games, explore the moon, explore Mercury, explore planet X, explore Pluto, explore an asteroid. That all sounds like fun things. But he was in a space station that was high in our orbit, orbit circling the Earth. So he wasn't going off and exploring different places. He was oh. just going round and round the Earth. Why? Why? Yeah. That's a great question. Maybe to see the effects that living in space had on humans. So he didn't even have the helmet on? Well, in the space station, he didn't need to use a helmet. But when he stepped outside the space station to do repairs, he probably had to put on a helmet. Well, that's it for our space episode. We hope you enjoyed it, learned something new, and had some fun. Have a question you want us to answer? Visit our website and send us your questions, and we might answer it in an upcoming episode. Bye-bye.
Bye bye, and now I'm leaving this chair. Now for a joke from a four year old. Why did it tell Dante? Why did it tell Dante to say it? Because he wanted to see the moon. <laughs> Good one.